Hello fans of Gift and Food and Baking, today I'm going to share with you a very easy and quick recipe of vegan aniseed drinks. To be notified of all my new recipes, please subscribe to my YouTube channel Gift of Food and Baking. Beside my YouTube channel, you can as well follow me on my other social pages on Instagram and Facebook. For this recipe, I will need half a cup of sugar, half a cup of aniseed water, which I develop myself by soaking one tablespoon of aniseed into hot water. I will also need half a cup of sunflower oil, or you can use olive oil. And for brushing the rings, I have diluted two tablespoons of molasses with one teaspoon of water. For the spices, I have here half a teaspoon of salt, one and a half tablespoon of aniseed seed, one tablespoon of nigella seed, and one tablespoon of fennel seeds. For the raisin agent, I will use only one teaspoon of baking powder. The reason for that because I will use 360 grams sifted self-raising flour. I will use a mix of sesame seed and nigella seed to sprinkle the rings. Simply, I will add all the ingredients together in one bowl. So here I have added half a cup of sugar with half a cup of aniseed water, half a cup of sunflower water. Then I will add all my spices with the half a teaspoon of salt and use the hand whisker to, whisk to combine. And by doing that, I will dissolve all the sugar as well. Once I feel that the sugar has dissolved into the liquid, I will start adding the flour. So here I poured all the flour but kept aside quarter cup of the flour and added one teaspoon of baking powder and started folding together. The reason for keeping aside a quarter cup of flour because every type of flour is different. Some needs more and some needs less. So always keep aside. Here I needed to add the rest of the flour because my dough was a bit very soft. For new baker starters, it's best that you use your hands so you will feel the dough and understand why you would need more flour or less flour. Once you finish mixing all the dough, it should be a soft dough but let it rest for at least 10 minutes. I'm using here the measuring spoon, the tablespoon to get all accurate sizes. I will start by rolling the dough between my hands into a small bowl, then into a flat surface with my two hands, then bring them together and seal from the top. Continue using the same method, rolling the dough into your hands as a small ball, then roll it into a flat surface, bring them together and seal from the top, and that's your rings now. This is very easy to make, these rings, but if you don't like the shape of rings, you can do whatever shape you like. You can do the long stick as a breadstick, or you can do any other shapes. Once you finish rolling all the rings, you can start brushing them with the molasses syrup, and it doesn't only gives the golden color, but it gives a better taste and glues the sesame on top of them. If you don't have molasses syrup, you can bake those rings without them. However, the color would be slightly different. Once you finish brushing all the rings with the molasses syrup, now you can sprinkle them with a mix of sesame and nigella seed. And if you don't like sesame seed or nigella seed, you can sprinkle them with whatever seeds you love. Traditionally, they are covered with sesame seeds because it gives it the nutty flavor as well once they are baked. Once they're all covered with sesame seeds, simply you just place it in a preheated fan oven of 180 Celsius and this will take between 20 to 25 minutes until they are golden brown color. Did you see how simple it is to bake those vegan aniseed rings? Although they're simple, they're so much sophisticated in flavor with all these aniseed, nigella seed and fennel seed and they're so nutritious as well simple description of the taste they're so flavored crunchy light and delicious <laughs> now i'm very busy indulging myself with these vegan aniseed rings so thank you very much for watching this video for more sudanese african or any other recipes please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel gift of food and baking until i see you with the next recipe Bye bye